Welcome to the dynamic Sean's View Entertainment on YouTube.com. Make sure to like this video and subscribe. We're here. It's always prolific, consistent, and dedicated with an exclusive, exclusive, excuse me, backstage report on John Cena's run. Details on him becoming the WWE World Heavyweight Champion. Now, it should be noted that the plan for John Cena to become WWE World Heavyweight Champion last night at Money in the Bank, Boston Mass, TD Garden, was not a long-term plan that WWE had set. Cena was not even supposed to be champion in the company for the year of 2014. Furthermore, John Cena was a plan B, spur-of-the-moment deal due to Daniel Bryan becoming injured. WWE did not want to randomly put the WWE World of Weight Championship on Cesaro, Reigns, or Wyatt with no build or storyline anticipation, only for them to hold the championship for a few weeks then lose it to Brock Lesnar at SummerSlam. WWE felt that that booking would have made no sense whatsoever for the long term. Plus, WWE does not want to book the future of its superstars as weak, going into a world championship predicament. There is talk that once WWE does put the championship on Cesaro, Reigns, or Wyatt, there will be a lot more put into the situation and there will be more focus on those named superstars as individuals when they go on a run as world heavyweight champion. You see the logic, you see the booking, you see the fundamentals behind this people. I know everyone's in an uproar, I know everyone's rioting, I know everyone's sad, I know everyone's mad. People are probably losing their ass right now. They probably want to unsubscribe to the WWE Network. They probably want to stop watching the WWE, but you all know this makes sense. You all know this is what the WWE was going to do, this is what they had to do. This was the most logic, ladies and gentlemen. However, the report goes on to say that WWE felt that this was the best option under the circumstances circumstances they were dealing with and I'll tell you what the WWE was like a rock in a hard place what sense would have it made for Cesaro or Roman Reigns or Bray Wyatt to win the championship only for a few weeks with hardly any hype any anticipation any build any storyline any any significant aura behind it and then a few weeks later they lose it to Brock Lesnar don't you think you'd want to see John Cena get his ass kicked by Brock Lesnar? Not only get his ass kicked, but lose the WWE Championship to Brock Lesnar in just a few weeks' time? Now, you know what? Everyone that's complaining and criticizing and multiplying and dividing, you can do that because it's your way of life. You know, you're open to that. But don't count your chickens before they hatch because the bottom line is this. You know what the WWE is going to do. There's no way that they're going to make John Cena walk into SummerSlam and defeat Brock Lesnar. Now, once again, there is rumors that John Cena is going to be joining Paul Heyman. Is this, part, is this all part of the scheme? Is this all part of an elaborate plan? We don't know what the WWE is going to do. We don't know what direction they have, but we know this. John Cena was not supposed to become WWE Champion. The only reason he is champion is because Daniel Bryan got injured. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. The original SummerSlam match was slated to be Daniel Bryan versus Brock Lesnar. But now with Daniel Bryan out of the picture, John Cena as the number one and two guy in the company because that's what the WWE said, that they were booking Cena and Bryan as the number one and two guy in the company. It only makes sense to move that number two guy, Cena, to the number one spot now that Daniel Bryan is injured. And once again, whether you like it or not, it makes the most sense. Like I said, you have to look at this from a strategic point of view. You just have to take off and let all that heat and hate that you have on John Cena and see what it is truly all about. Subscribe.